it's just with the testimony and um, just wanted to share with you a little bit um, the blessings today. I uh, wore my freedom hat. It's almost the 4th of July, Independence Day. Check it out, saints. You know what's cool for me? I am completely free in Christ. And the Word of God says, In whom the Son has set free, they are free indeed. If you think about that, we are no longer slaves to sin. I just, I get so excited about being a sister with a testimony, uh, being a saint with a testimony. Wow. To think that God would love me that much to die on a cross for me, to free me from the entrapment and the enslavement of habitual sin. Saints, we have been freed from eternal separation from God. We have been freed from eternal separation uh, and, and uh, an eternity away from our Creator. It's like it's so simple. You don't have to make salvation complicated. Believe, receive, repent, obey, live forever. Well, you know, everybody has their formula, but there's only one that works. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father except by me, says the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I don't care how many times you try to change that up. There's one way. And uh, there are not many ways. There's one. The gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through 15. Eight, read it, believe it, receive it, preach it, obey it, hide it in your heart, agree with it, understand it, eat it, breathe it, eat it, breathe it, sleep it, okay? Just continually. You can't undo the gospel. There's nothing you can do about it, saints. It ain't going to preach no differently than what it is. Jesus died for our sins after he lived a sinless life. He never sinned. Not in thought, in word, or deed. I don't care what anybody says. They lie in if they don't say it exactly the way it was. He lived a sinless life. And he went to the cross voluntarily he volunteered okay and he ain't from Tennessee you know the Tennesseans they're the volunteers let me tell you what he is the first one that we should look at uh, when we decide to volunteer for something if I'm a volunteer I'm a volunteer and give it my best the Lord said okay I'm going to do this, but I can't even do this without you, Father. Ah, there you go. Complete, total reliance upon the Father. Think about it, saints. He hung on the cross, which was a stake, a tree. And he died for your sins and for my sins. We're completely exonerated when we repent and turn from our wicked ways receive him as Lord and Savior, believing that he can get us there, not our own works. And then the coolest thing is, is he paid the price. He literally stood in for me and for you and whosoever will. He went into the tomb for three full days and three full nights, not parts of three days. If you'd study, you'd, you'd know that. They lied to you. You might want
want to do a little research on that one. You've been brainwashed. You've been lied to. We all have. So we're all in that same boat, and I guarantee you the one I'm in ain't sinking. So I hope you get over in, you know, the boat that's floating. After he come out of that tomb, by the resurrection power of the Holy Spirit, raising him to life, he walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. He was seen at one time by over 400 brethren saints. This is a historical documented fact. Okay, you, you can refute it all day long. You can, I don't believe that. Well, how's that working for you? I'm sure you got a nice life without Jesus. Yeah, okay, that's sarcasm. Saints, we need to be preaching the gospel, not formulas for success, okay? If you don't preach the gospel first, you're in error think about that. Chew on that a little bit. Freedom. Freedom! Woohoo! I got freedom. Because I've been free from the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm not talking about hyper grace either. I'm talking about the fact that I have been free. And I believe that I'm free. And I obey the gospel. And I don't try to change it up and preach my own sermon. Now think about that. Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and the fact that after the Holy Spirit raised him from the dead, the resurrection power of the Holy Ghost, woo, mm, he walked on this earth and was seen by more than just a handful of people. That's the gospel. That's the only gospel, and that's the only truth. You can't take it and sugarcoat it and twist it and make it anything other than what it is. It's true. And if you believe it, good for you. If you receive it, that's even better. If you repent and you believe it and receive it and obey it, mm, hide it in your heart, you preach it, you teach it, you proclaim it, you'll make it. Preach the gospel. Be in season. Yeah. When they want to hear it, guys, when they don't, don't force it on them. But let the gospel speak for itself. You know, God doesn't need us to do anything other than what we were called to do. And that is acknowledge him, recognize him, believe in him, receive him, repent, turn from our wicked ways, obeying his word, having a relationship with him. I don't know, saints. We make it so complicated. Shared the gospel with a lady. She received Jesus. She had an epiphany, an awakening. It's the gospel. You can't go wrong with the truth. Anyhow, I'm just uh, sharing with you. If you want a ministry and you want it to work, uh, try using the word, the gospel, the truth. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide, protect, and keep you. In Jesus' name I pray. A sister with a testimony. Hallelujah. I'm free. Woo! I am free. And I decree and declare that if you belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, you are free. You're no longer under the law. You are free. Preach the gospel. Share your testimony. Obey the Lord. It's simple, saints. It's called obedience. Separate yourself unto holiness. Sanctify yourself. Turn from your sins. Woo! Hallelujah. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Submit yourselves therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. But remember you got to submit first or it doesn't work. So, hey! It's sister with a testimony. I'm free. Indeed. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I bless you. In Jesus' name, the name that is above all names, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, be blessed. Sister with a testimony.